lifestyle. Learn about the benefits and start now. Eating from the vine and feeling divine. Fruit living with nature's design. What's going on guys? My name is Ted Carr and we're here with a fruitarian dentist, Joe Hooper. You with Dr. Hooper or Joe or what? No, just Joe. Just Joe. Just Joe. And he's not your average Joe, man. I met this guy about a year and a half ago. He's an avid cyclist, top cyclist. And uh, we went to Malaysia together, ate some durian together. Um, he was a Skype client of mine at the time, doing some coaching with him, uh, helping him transition to a fruitarian diet, helping him increase his athletic performance a bit. And uh, we've both now come to a bit of a fork in our athletic roads where we both decided, you know what, we're gonna ditch the hardcore endurance cardio and we're gonna go for some more, you know, some strength-based uh, activities like handstands and pull-ups and bench pressing and squats and things like that. So, um, Joe, just introduce yourself. Let people know like, what you do in Australia and what your practice kind of looks like. Um, I, I just have a general practice in Australia and I see a whole range of people from kids to adults and with a whole range of problems and um, that are no different from you know a population that eats a normal diet compared to a fruit diet. So, yeah. so there are a lot of people out there right off the bat who think that if you eat a fruit diet long term your teeth are going to be shit. Uh, what would you say to things like that? No, I'd say not at all. I, I mean, I see that you know the same problem that people always ask me about with eating a fruit diet. I see in people who don't eat a fruit diet, um, and it just comes down to getting the basics right. And the basics, let's get into that basics. So this video we're going to talk about how to never get a cavity ever again. And the reason I bring Joe on this episode is because he's never had a cavity in his life. He's taking really good care of his teeth. And he's got a protocol that if followed will work for you too to never get a cavity again either. So Joe, what, would, what does that protocol really look like? From the time someone wakes up in the morning to the time they go to bed, what are like three or four things they can do each day to guarantee or to greatly enhance the uh, or to greatly ensure that they're not going to get another cavity. Um, well, it's, it starts off with uh, good oral hygiene, so uh, flossing and brushing, and doing that all the time. Um, uh, I recommend people keep floss, you know, everywhere. Put it in your handbag. Put it in the car. Put it at the front door. So when you walk out of the house, you grab some, and and have it handy at all times. So you're not leaving it until last thing at night when you're tired and you might think, oh, I don't need a floss tonight, I'll do it tomorrow. And then, you know, days go past and you haven't been cleaning in between your teeth. Um, so that's critical, just setting yourself up for success and getting in that good habit. And, and, and then it just becomes, you know, second nature. This you guy sm flosses like cigarette addicts, smoke cigarettes. <laughs> He's flossing 10 to 12 times a day. Well, I just I just floss whenever I, you can tell when you know. I, I mean, we're here in Hawaii. The lychees are amazing, so we've been eating a lot of lychees over the last couple of days. Those things get stuck in your teeth, and and I can feel it in there. So I just have, always have floss with me, and I get in there and clean it out so that my mouth's nice and clean. Yeah, and like mango strings get it stuck in there too. Yeah, definitely times. all that you know good fiber that we want in here, but not in between our teeth. Right. So yeah, and Joe's made it a habit, and you can make it a habit as well. You know, how would you recommend people um, get started with flossing? Like, what's the protocol you use? Um, get some floss, start on your front teeth so that you're comfortable doing it. Take it between the teeth and right up under the gums and, and clean out in between each space. And just slowly work your way back towards the back of your mouth. At first, you know, until you get the dexterity, you know, it feels awkward trying to floss the very, you know, the very last teeth. So start at the front, add a tooth each day, and by the end of the week, you'll be flossing right behind your back teeth, no problems like a pro. And then, as far as brushing goes, so we know, I mean, I see you brush like, I mean, I see you floss like 10 to 12 times a day, maybe less, but I, I like, every time I look at you, you got some floss handy, and it's always there. But brushing, how often would you brush? Uh, I, I brush a lot less. I brush maybe two to three times a day, maximum. Um, you know, if my if my teeth feel furry or you know I feel like I need to clean, I'll clean them, or to get any of the debris out that I've um, flossed, 
out from between my teeth, I'll brush. So you floss first, then brush? Yes. Floss first, then brush? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. And with what kind of toothpaste? Uh, I use a fluoride toothpaste and um, usually over night time I use a stronger fluoride toothpaste. I just use a little bit and I spit it out and I don't rinse it out so I'm leaving a little bit of fluoride in there to remineralize my teeth overnight so that there's no damage getting down to them. And that specific toothpaste, could I link it in the description below by it on Amazon or? Yeah, sure. Yeah? It's just a, yeah. So Joel, give me the link, we'll put it in the description below. You can get the toothpaste that this guy uses to never get cavities. Um, now, a bit about fluoride, people are like, oh my god, fluoride is going to block your pineal gland, it's going to cause dementia. Um, what are your thoughts on consuming fluoride, or at least even putting it in your mouth, or is there a difference? Um, yeah, we, no, there's no problem with uh, using fluoride to clean your teeth. Um, it, it's, it's a mineral uh, that you, your teeth need to remineralize and stay hard and to prevent um, either destruction from decay or erosion. Um, and um, I think it's very safe to use inappropriate amounts, which is brushing your teeth with it, cool. um, with the toothpaste. And, and there's no scientific evidence at all that there's any detrimental <laughs> effect from doing that. In small doses, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. you took a big dose. Yes. Yes. If you ate a whole tube of toothpaste, or if you're in in a you know a particular geographical location where there is unusually high amounts of fluoride in in water sources, right. then there may be issues. But your normal cool. day to day use with a little bit of fluoride toothpaste will keep your teeth nice yeah. and sound. And a lot of the people I've met who've been doing raw food long term. If their teeth are looking really good, I check out the toothpaste and it turns out they're using some fluoride toothpaste as well. Um, so I personally mix between some baking soda toothpaste and some fluoride toothpaste. And when Joe leaves in a couple of days, he's going to leave me with his toothpaste. So I'll uh, give you my product review on that when the time comes. But uh, that's cool, man. And then now, what's the difference between cavities and erosions? Um, so a lot of people uh, get erosion from um, uh, acid in the mouth. I mean, it's, it's the same process that causes uh, decay, but if, if your mouth or an individual's mouth tends to be a bit acidic, mm. then putting extra acid in there in the form of citrus, for example, it could lead to problems. Right, and you mentioned particular people's pH, yeah. particular people's acidic mouth. So everyone's mouth is different. Some people's mouths just tend to be on the acidic end of the spectrum, uh, and, and unfortunately, you know that that's just their lot. And I mean, I see that in you know lots of my patients, you know, um, not just on a fruit diet, who have problems with you know, having acidic mouths and therefore, um, but needing to be careful with uh, acid. So you, you should make yourself aware of this. So getting a checkup and. and, and seeing whether you have had any erosion or um, if your teeth are sensitive to sweet or uh, cold things it might be an indicator that you've got some a, a more acidic environment in your mouth where the acids um, slowly uh, um, biting into the tooth surface and exposing areas of dentine which can then lead to sensitivity. And when should people get, like if they have a cavity, when should they get that cavity filled or should they? Can they heal it naturally or should they get it filled right away or what's the deal? Um, if you've got a very small cavity that is in the outer layer or of the enamel and hasn't broken through to the middle of the tooth, then that can be remineralized. Cool. Um, with, you know, keeping your mouth neutral and using some fluoride toothpaste, fluoride there, that's Pretty cool. right. That is what will remineralize that. Once it breaks through the outer layer, the enamel and goes into the dentine, th then it's uh, it will usually progress unless, yeah. unless you, you get it treated. If, if you know that you've got a uh, mouth that's more on the acidic end of the spectrum, I would be careful how you're ingesting your citrus. I'm not saying don't eat it. I mean, I start my day with grapefruit every morning. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, but if you, but my mouth's not particularly acidic, so it's not such a concern for me. If yours is, then um, drink your citrus juice th through a straw. Rinse your mouth out with water afterwards. Don't go and brush your teeth straight away afterwards because you've got acid on your teeth and then you, you're rubbing them and then you're causing more damage. Those are three key points I want to reiterate right now. Yeah. Drink your citrus through a straw. Rinse right after. And don't brush your teeth right after. That's yeah. key. And um, uh, use a fluoride toothpaste because you're going to need that uh, remineralizing capability that the fluoride ions provide. Fluoride ants. Yeah. Cool, that's a new word for you. Yeah. Fluoride ants. Well, awesome, Joe. Um, if anyone wants to check out Joe's uh, dental... What do you call it? Practice. Dental practice? Yeah. And you're in Australia, check out the link in the description. It'll be sent to his website. You can find out more information from there. Also, link up his Instagram if you want to check out his Instagram there. I know he's going to be heading to Malaysia this summer for, uh, for, some, for some durian feasting. Joe's also getting into practicing his handstands and things like that, so you can see his journey, follow, follow his journey along on Snapchat, yeah, I mean Instagram, and uh, yeah, man, hope to see you again in the coming in the coming uh, months, coming definitely coming years. Yeah. But uh, that's it, man. Great video, appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks a lot, man. Good to see you, man. Yeah.